Hi Ben here, Amateur Call Sign M7 FRS and in this video I'm going to show you why this little device here may have just made the Q900 my new favourite SDR transceiver. So this little external rotary encoder has been sent to me by Banggood uh, for review so thanks uh, to them and uh, I'm really really impressed with it, it's a really good little bit of kit for the Q900. Uh, if you've seen previous videos I've done on the Q900 I did a comparison with this and the Zygu G90, um, you may well know that uh, I preferred the G90 just because it's got a it's got a, a VFO control which the, uh, the Q900 sadly lacked. Uh, it's everything that had to be done on the up and down arrows. But um, this little, uh, I say, rotary encoder will act as a, as a VFO. And you can see uh, uh, just now we can uh, scroll up and down the uh, the frequencies just using the uh, the rotary control. And it feels really nice to use. It's got a uh, quite a bit of gentle click to it. You can spin it. And uh, yeah, it's got a really solid, well-built feel to this uh, this rotary encoder. Uh, it won't just change the frequencies, if I press the uh, uh, AF button for example, we can use it to uh, increase and decrease the volume. And then we can just click it once and it will uh, scroll through the different um, settings, so we can you can change settings and levels and just by, by clicking uh, you can change the levels, obviously you still need to use some of the, uh, the buttons on the front of the radio there, but uh, yeah same with uh, using it as a VFO knob if I want to move the cursor uh, you just click it uh, move it to where you want and um, click again so it goes blue and we can just uh, just scroll up and down the band uh, just like that so uh, yeah really really good for the uh, the uh, the Q900 and uh, also works on the PMR 171 and the TBR 119 apparently as well so these are currently retailing on Banggood at about 28 English pounds or 36 uh, US dollars. I'll put a link in the description down below to uh, where you can get this off Banggood and uh, at the time this video has come out I've been uh, reliably informed that they should have some good deals on as well at the moment so uh, you might find it even cheaper but yeah absolutely 100% well worth uh, investing in this if you've got a, a Q900 because like I say it is an absolute game changer. So we can also use it to, uh, to change bands as well, like I say you can use it on your, your volume and your different settings but if we press the band button um, you can obviously scroll across and uh, select the uh, um, the different bands as well. So let's put it on uh, 14 uh, megahertz or 20 meters, there we go and uh, yeah same thing, so you can move your cursor, click and then uh, we can uh, we can scroll up and down the bands. So uh, yeah, really, really impressed with this bit of kit. The only slight downside to this was uh, I had a little bit of trouble getting a, uh, a lead to work with it. So it just uses a uh, uh, USB-C uh, on the back of the uh, device itself. So there's, I say, USB-C port there. Uh, so quite simple, USB-C uh, to USB into the back of the uh, the radio itself. And I say the issue I had was uh, not with this at all. It's really it was the uh, USB to USB-C cables, finding one that would actually work. I seem to have an abundance of uh, cables that just won't charge things very well or won't uh, won't talk to uh, uh, between devices. So uh, yeah, after trying three different cables, I managed to find one that does actually work. So uh, if you think it's not working, it's probably not the device. It's possibly uh, more likely your, your cable. But uh, yeah, found one that works and. Um, we uh, we got that uh, set up, and I'll show you how to. Uh, it's very simple to set up. Um, the issue, again, slight problem we had setting it up was that uh, when I first uh, had the the radio switched on and plugged it in, it wouldn't actually control it. Uh, I found that what I had to do was have the radio switched off, and it seems a bit of a strange way of doing it. Plug in the USB C, uh, try turning the radio on. Uh, and you'll see it won't come on. Uh, I don't know why that was, but then unplug it and then switch it on, power it up. Um, and then when it's powering up or when it has powered up, you can then uh, plug the encoder in, and uh, and it should be uh, should be good to go. There you go. That's, uh, it's working absolutely fine. So that was uh, just seemed to be the right sequence for uh, for plugging in. It didn't come with any instructions at all. There was uh, literally just this uh, little plastic bag in the box. 
um, no instructions but like I say it's fairly uh, self-explanatory and like I say once I'd uh, worked out how to get it to uh, to speak with the with the radio which was like I say a simple way of just uh, plugging it in trying to power the radio up unplugging it and then powering it up and plugging it in and that uh, that seems to work like I say they are uh, really really well made these little uh, controls nice um, nice feel to the to the knob itself um, I, I think that's a, it's a, a light alloy I think they're uh, metallic um, well made little box uh, I did have to stick some uh, some blue tag on the bottom just to uh, uh, get it to uh, not slide around on my desk and you can see it's got the nice uh, Goey Tech logo on the uh, on the base there but yeah if, uh, if it was on the table it just sort of slides around it could have perhaps done with some little rubber feet maybe that might be something they could do in the future but uh, like I say just a, uh, a little bit for uh, four little bits of blue tag on the bottom there and uh, it sits, uh, sits perfectly on my uh, on my desk there. Anyway, only a short little video from me. I say, have a look in the description down below. Um, great little bit of kit uh, if you've got a Q900. Uh, stay tuned, and we've got a few more uh, videos coming out shortly, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, 7-3.